Hey everybody, uh, Mr. MathBog here. This is Estimate Decimals and Sums and Differences here. So we're going to do some estimating. So how can we estimate decimals, uh, sums, and differences? Uh, all right, so Jenna bought uh, 3.4 pounds of chicken, 2.78 pounds of turkey, and 4.19 pounds of ham at the deli. About how many pounds of meat did she buy all together? Okay, so we're going to use rounding to estimate. So here it says round uh, to the nearest whole number, and then we'll add. Well, remember, when we round a number, uh, if the digit to the right is less than 5, then the digit that's being rounded stays the same. If the digit to the right is 5 or greater, then the digit that we're rounding is increased by 1. Okay, So let's um, uh, round these all to the nearest whole number. Well, since 4 is less than 5, this 3 stayed the same. Okay, Now we're going to round this 2. Well, since 7 is greater than 5, we're going to round this up to 3 right here. Okay, and how about this one? This is going to round, uh, it's going to stay down at 4 right there because of the 1. The 1 right there is less than 5, okay? So what's 3 plus 3 is 6 plus 4 is 10. So she bought about, about 10 pounds of meat right there, okay? Easy enough, huh? All right, so uh, let's use rounding to estimate. So let's, uh, on this first part, let's round to the nearest whole dollar and then we'll subtract, okay? So we have $38.95. Let's round this to the nearest whole dollar, that's code word, to the nearest ones. So we'll round this 8 to a 9 because this 9 right here is greater than 5, okay? And then we'll round this 2. This is going to round up because of the 7. Because 7 is greater than 5, we'll round this to 3. So this is going to round to 39. This is going to round to 13 right there, okay? All right, and then when we subtract, 39 minus 13 is uh, $26. So to the nearest dollar, $38.95 minus $12.72 is about $26. Okay, let's round uh, over here, same numbers, let's round to the nearest $10. So we're going to round to this tens spot right here. So this 3 right here is going to get rounded uh, up to a 4 because that's 8 is greater than. So we're going to round that guy to a 40. Okay, this 1 right here, since that's a 2, we're going to round this 1 to uh, keep it. It's just going to be the same. We're going to put 10 right here, so it's going to be $10 right there, okay? So $40 minus $10 is $30. So to the nearest $10, $38.95 minus $12.72 is about $30 right there. All right, so when we want to estimate the cost of an item we want to buy, would you think it would be over? Be uh, we'd want to overestimate or us underestimate the price? Okay, well, say you only have a certain amount of money. Is it better to uh, uh, overestimate the price of an item before you buy it or underestimate? Well, I would think it would be better if we would overestimate the price because uh, we want to make sure that we have enough money at the end. So, um, uh, if we, you know, whatever the price is, let's say it's thirty-nine ninety-five. I'm going to say it's forty dollars and make sure I have forty dollars to cover the price right there, okay? All right, use benchmarks. So benchmarks are familiar numbers used as points of reference. So we can use the benchmarks. Um, we're going to be adding decimals again. 0, 0.25, 0 0.50, 0 0.75, and 1 to estimate uh, decimal sums and differences. So here's an example right here. Use ben the benchmarks that we have above uh, to estimate. Um, uh, this is read 18 hundredths plus 43 hundredths, 0.18 plus 0.43, because this ends in the hundredth spot. So this is said 18 hundredths plus 43 hundredths. Okay, so here's a number line right here. So locate and graph a point on the line for each decimal. So let's go put a point for 0.18. Looks like these are going by 5 tenths, 5, 10, 15, 20, yeah, 25. So if this is 20, then 18 is going to be right here. So 18 hundredths will be right here. And then 43 hundredths, let's see, 43 hundredths is going to be, let's see, probably somewhere right around here. So here's uh, 25, 30, 35, 40. So somewhere right around there, we're going to load that right in there. Okay, so there they are. So uh, 18 hundredths is closest to the benchmark of, of 0.25, and 43 hundredths is closest to the benchmark of, of uh, 0 0.50. 43 hundredths is closer to this benchmark than it is to this benchmark right here. Okay, and this one's closer to this one than it is to this one right here. So when we add these guys, 0.25 plus 0 0.50 gets us 0 0.75 or 75 hundredths. Okay, how about use the same benchmarks to estimate uh, 76 hundredths minus 22 hundredths. Okay, let's put them on the number line right there. 
and then uh, okay this one's closest to uh, 0.25 and this one's closest to 0.75 okay so when we subtract we're going to get um, uh, 0.75 minus 0.25 which is 0.50 right there all right hey if you guys can would you guys click like and thanks a lot